Today I'm going to show you how to make three different, really cool, delicious iced coffee drinks. Perfect for summer. Let me know in the comments which one you like the look of most. So if you like a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning, maybe to accompany your breakfast, these cafetiers are great. It's nice to use real ground coffee rather than instant, and there's enough in here for a few cups. But I'm leaving the rest of this to cool down so I can use it for an iced coffee later. To make the first one, take a tray of ice cubes and put them into a blender. Then take your jug of cold coffee and pour it over the ice. If you haven't got any leftover cold coffee, you can just use water and instant coffee granules. You can also use these to make your filtered coffee a little stronger if you like. Next, we need to just put the lid on and give it a blend. Even though there's no milk in here, it instantly looks creamy because it all turns into foam as it smashes up the ice cubes. If you leave it to settle, and I've speeded up this footage, it starts to separate out with the foam sitting on top of the drink. Remove the lid to see how lovely and frothy it is. And once it's settled a bit more in the jug, pour it out into a glass. It's great to serve it like this while it slowly settles because it looks amazing. You can give it a good stir with a straw. And the foam layer sits on top for ages. If you like your coffee black, you can drink it like this. But if you prefer when the drink is still full, you can pour in a little bit of cream. This kind of sits underneath the foam, but on top of the drink, and it starts to run down and mix. And it looks really cool. When you're ready to drink it, give it a gentle mix, and you get these beautiful swirls of colour. And it tastes great! For the next one, I'm going to show you how to make this really delicious Dalgona coffee. Start by adding two tablespoons of instant coffee into a bowl, then add the same amount of sugar, and finally the same amount of water. This should be enough water to cover everything over, so it can all dissolve. Next we're going to use an electric hand mixer to beat it all together. It might take a minute or so, but you need to keep mixing and mixing it until it becomes a lot lighter in colour and a lot thicker, almost like whipped cream. It's pretty crazy, and it tastes really strong. Next, to make the drink, put a couple of ice cubes in a glass and fill it about three quarters full with milk. If you want to, you could also add some flavoured syrup. Then take the coffee mix we made and spoon it into the glass. You can see it sits on top of the milk. It's a thick and beautiful creamy coffee layer. And there we go! That's our Dalgona coffee drink ready to serve. To drink it, use a straw or a spoon to mix the top layer down into the cold milk. It can take a bit of mixing if the top layer is nice and thick. But once it's ready, it really does taste amazing. If you like cold coffee, you've got to try this. So, on to the last one. For this one, I'm using a couple of tablespoons of coffee and dissolving it with a bit of warm water to make a strong coffee syrup. If you want to, you can add some sugar. Then in a fresh glass, add a couple of ice cubes and fill it nearly to the top with milk. Next, take the coffee syrup we made and slowly pour a bit over the floating ice. You can see it all sort of swirls and mixes down into the drink. To top it, I'm using a bit of squirty cream, then pouring over a small amount more syrup, and sort of swirl it into the cream with a spoon. And that's our final iced coffee. Pretty cool, huh? It's so easy to make, and it just looks great when you start mixing it together. You can make sure you don't miss any of my future videos by subscribing to my channel, ringing the bell, and selecting all. And if you want to see some of my other videos, you can click on the links. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching!